Today, we're diving into the latest insider chatter surrounding Sony's next-generation full-frame mirrorless shooter, widely referred to as the Sony a7 V. For fans of the popular a7 line, this is one of the most anticipated launches of 2026. Rumor circles suggest the formal announcement could arrive as early as November 2025, with a market rollout in Q1 2026, most likely January or February. In this video dark article, we'll break down what we're hearing in terms of launch timing and market positioning, sensor and image engine spec rumors, processing and autofocus upgrades, body design and ergonomics, and finally pricing and market fit. Let's get started. According to insider sources, Sony is targeting the first quarter of 2026 for the launch of the A7 V, with January or February being the most likely window. This timing makes strategic sense. It allows Sony to build momentum from end-of-year trade shows and holiday sales, clear out inventory of the current model, and position the new body as a fresh hybrid stills toned video camera for both enthusiasts and content creators. The formal announcement could happen as early as November 2025, creating a pre-launch buzz and giving Sony a runway for pre-orders and channel preparation. By choosing a Q1 release, Sony can avoid the crowded end-of-year launches and instead claim attention early in the calendar. The A7 line has long served as Sony's hybrid workhorse, not the ultra-flagship high MPR line, and not the purely video-first S line, but rather the all-rounder full-frame mirrorless. With the current generation having been around for a few years now, the timing feels right for renewal. Indeed, in a recent interview, Sony confirmed that they don't renew every year, but major innovations come every generation. So from a market positioning viewpoint, the A7 V is likely to sit in the premium full-frame mirrorless category, aimed at serious hybrid shooters and content creators who want pro-level features without paying ultra-flagship body prices. One of the big sticking points of the rumors is the sensor resolution and design. Many sources suggest that the A7 V will carry over a roughly 33-megapixel full-frame sensor, Others argue that Sony could bump resolution or switch to a partially stacked variant to improve readout speed, dynamic range, and rolling shutter performance. First three A7, A7, A7 II, A7 III were all 24 MPix, so A7 V staying with 33 MPix wouldn't be anything strange at all. On the other hand, the critique of the A7 IV sensor is that readout speed and rolling shutter aren't as good as one might hope for heavy hybrid use. Hence, many expect Sony to refresh the sensor architecture, possibly a partially stacked design, or at least enhanced speed. Some of the leaked registration data suggests a new body code registered in Indonesia, hinting that the A7V is indeed entering the certification phase, sonyalpharumors.com. Beyond the sensor, the next generation of mirrorless cameras is increasingly about the processing engine, AI subject detection, and autofocus tracking enhancements. Sources say the A7V will include a new, more powerful engine, likely an evolution of Sony's Bion's XR class processor, which will power smarter algorithms, accelerated autofocus, expanded subject recognition, and possibly new video-centric modes. The rumors suggest that Sony intends this body to deliver pro-level autofocus tracking and content creator-friendly capabilities. For example, AI-powered subject detection that can intelligently track different subject types, improved burst shooting rates, better readout speeds, and improved in-body image stabilization to support hybrid uses. In the context of the sensor debate, if Sony keeps 33 MP but pairs it with a faster readout and better processing pipeline, the performance uplift could be significant, especially for video shooters who want less rolling shutter, higher frame rates, and more robust autofocus in real-world hybrid environments. Another aspect of the rumors relates to the physical design and usability improvements. Reports claim the A7 V will adopt a very angle four-axis display mount a sign that Sony is targeting videographers, vloggers and hybrid shooters who want flexible screen movement for different shooting angles, self-filming, and content creation. At the same time, Sony appears to be preserving a more compact form factor rather than adopting the bulkier grip and heavier body of its top-end R or 9 line models. That suggests the A7 V will balance pro-level specs with portability and everyday use. Leaked details hint that the control layout will mirror some elements of the A7R5 body, but with fewer physical dials and possibly reduced complexity to keep cost, weight and size in check. Expect the body to be slightly evolved rather than radically reinvented. A more flexible screen, improved ergonomics for content creators, 
but still recognizably an A7 series form factor. Some rumor threads mention dual memory card slots, though this is less consistently confirmed. Alpha shooters for designers. The big change is likely the screen mount and the hybrid-friendly layout for users. The big question is whether Sony keeps the excellent hand feel of previous A7 models while adding new controls and screen flexibility. Pricing is always a key piece of the puzzle. According to supply chain whispers quoted in the rumor mill, the A7 V could launch around US $3,000. That places the body firmly in the premium full-frame mirrorless category, not ultra-flagship territory, but high enough to signal serious specs and pro-hybrid capability. This price positioning is logical. It places the A7 V above entry-level full-frame bodies, but below the very high-end models. It competes with hybrid stills and video cameras from other brands and gives Sony a strong all-round option for photographers and videographers looking for one camera to do both. It's useful to compare to the launch price of the A7 IV, assuming the A7 IV has been discounted by now. The A7 V at $3,000 would represent a meaningful step up in cost, and therefore specs need to justify that premium. From a market fit perspective, this camera seems aimed at enthusiast to semi-pro hybrid shooters, those who shoot weddings, events, travel, YouTube, content creation, and want one full-frame camera to serve both stills and video. Content creators and videographers who need strong autofocus, good IBIS, flexible screen, and high performance. Not necessarily ultra-flagship sports, burst specialists. Photographers who may currently use the A7 III a7 IV or equivalent bodies and are looking for an upgrade path with modern features. Sony Full Frame Mirrorless 2026. Sony A7 V Specs Leak. Sony A7 Successor A7 IV Upgrade. Best All Round Full Frame Mirrorless Camera 2026. AI Autofocus Mirrorless Camera Sony. Full Frame Hybrid Camera for Vloggers. 2026 Using those terms naturally. In your content helps you capture search interest from both. Stills photography audiences and video content creator audiences, here's us, a breakdown you can follow for smooth flow. Introduction, open with the what we're hearing about the A7 V launch window and why it matters. Launch window and market positioning detail the likely timing, possible announcement in Nov 2025, and discuss why Sony would choose that time frame, the sensor and image engine rumors, dive into the 33 MP resolution chatter, the uncertainty over sensor being identical to A7 IV or new design, the possibility of partially stacked sensor, read out speed rolling shutter concerns, what that means for video and stills, processing, AI and autofocus upgrades, discuss the expected new processing engine, smarter subject detection tracking, AI features, hybrid still video focus and how that fits with Sony's strategy and competitors, body design and ergonomics, Talk about the reported four-axis fully articulating screen, the projected carryover of A7R5 body aesthetics, the more compact form versus A9 line, the implications for content creators, vloggers and hybrid shooters, pricing and market fit, examine the rumored $3,000 USD launch price, compare to the A7 IV launch price, discuss how it positions against rivals and speculate on target audiences. Closing. That wraps up our coverage of what we're hearing about the Sony A7 V. While all of this remains in the rumor stage until Sony officially announces the camera, the picture that's emerging is of a solid evolution of the A7 line, rather than a radical reinvention. A well-balanced, full-frame mirrorless body geared at the hybrid stills video user, with refined performance, smarter processing, and content creator-friendly design, all wrapped in a premium but accessible price point.